Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Yanis here from Nikos Trading Academy and I would like to welcome you to another video for our weekly live room trading results. So um, <coughs> not a lot of volatility this week but we are uh, in standby mode for many pairs that means uh, hopefully next week we will get some more opportunities but have in mind that uh, we are getting into Christmas uh, month. Many people will ease up a little bit. Lockdowns are loosening up a little bit, so many people will try to um, get away, in quotes, a little bit from daily routine. Uh, here I have uh, the most worth mentioning pairs that uh, we had chosen this week. Uh, on GBP New Zealand dollar we were waiting for some time now for the breakout. It happened. We saw this M24 retracement. Uh, unfortunately it retraced back inside the wedge so we said okay no problem let's use next uh, opportunity that is a lower settings uh, combination and you can see with this kind of retracement with again like 40-50 pips price went all the way like 200 already now in um, 160 that is like how big I said 50 more than three times my APO but the whole point is to leave your last position running why because this is your target so that means with the 50 pips of an APO you will be going for 500 or even more. You've seen in our uh, Facebook group some posts from a member that is still running many trades so don't think that it's something that it's not happening and it's happening very often actually because we look at the bigger picture. So you see price can go for 750 pips since we have done our top-down approach anyway. Um, I would like now to check New Zealand dollar CAD which also uh, are in, we are already in with kind of a late entry but we had important reasons why. So either you are in with an M24 entry, we're talking about again like 80 pips for 280 that means, how can I say that, uh, four times, almost four times or three times, no problem with me. And you can see what happened. We took nest uh, after we saw some kind of retracement or higher setting, as a little bit not that good of a movement. Then we got our opportunity and that's the one that we are already in with an APO again like 50 pips last position 250 um, that means five times our APO already <coughs> and of course we are not getting out of this trade why? because again we are targeting higher settings resistance area which is all the way up here. That means we are going for 300 pips easily. On GBPCHF we had price moving towards and getting into a wedge. Of course what happened we said that was a way too late of an entry from this area to this area price has already moved above my the half of the area of this zone and actually what we were waiting is an opportunity after these multiple reactions and it happened with an M12 M6 combination you can see here that was my trend line break my retracement and that again gave me an opportunity like 25 30 pips already win-win scenario. Yeah, price hit my second target and now I'm still on winning 
and I'm just staying in again as long as possible, sorry, as short as possible uh, because I will be targeting, you see this area here, price has already broken my 36 EMA, double tops and again that means more or less with 30 pips of an APO going for 300. Yeah, it's a very good combination, these kind of things. So that's why I always say keep your last position running. This uh, strategy is the one that will grow your account. Overall, with these trades, we took 10 times our APO, almost 500 pips, and we are also happy with that. I would like to thank you once more. Have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. Stay safe and see you again tomorrow with our top-down approach in our first group. Bye-bye, everybody.